Dry Cleaner focuses on a British intelligence officer called George, who is trying to recruit a Middle Eastern student named Lydia. Lydia has connections to a revolutionary movement called the FKA in her home country. She's just trying to do the right thing, help her country back home, and she's a moderate, but she notices that her group is being infiltrated by this more sinister organisation. And she's a young revolutionary. She was part of the movement that helped unseat the dictator. And the backdrop to this is a terrorist raid in Europe where a big cache of arms has been discovered. So I started this project with a question. I wanted to know how an MI6 officer would go and recruit somebody from the Middle East today with our bad reputation in the world. And the answer appeared to be the fight against terrorism and the fight for a just society in the Middle East. It's incredibly dangerous if her organisation found out that she's meeting MI6. She's essentially a traitor. My character, Ahmed, he's been sent to, to Britain to forge these links between a more moderate group and his, his more sort of fundamentalist, hardline terrorist group. And now these stories are front page news and it's been strange to be a filmmaker and a writer on the cutting edge of this horrific story and seeing things that I've written as fiction have become reality. Everyone that was on it wanted to see it succeed. Everyone wanted to push it a little bit harder and everyone wanted to see it hit its potential. So there was a real togetherness on the set. Every member of crew was kind of working 110, 150% all the time. It's about people, it's a people business, and it's about trust. Uh, in a world of no trust, it's all about two strangers trying to build a bond. So I think it's a really important film as well as an enjoyable one, I really do.